friends, Fox Bandy here. Max is in bed, so I won't get him up tonight. I just want to update you from the last video. Also, want to respond to some of the comments. Ignore the stuttering. Not really stuttering, just not getting the words out sometimes, right? I'm a little warm in here for crazy. It's been raining all day. Bear with me for a second. Uh, let's see if I can get the heater in. Have a little 400 watt heater. I'm plugged into it for electricity, but that warm temperature up here, in here, so much amazing. I don't. I've since I'm parked where I have a plug in right now. Just got back from a camping trip out on Plumosa Road here in Courtside, where a lot of our friends have met up this year. And we didn't do a formal meetup, but they had almost as many people there as when we do a meetup, so a regular meetup. So I'm probably going to offend some people that I don't remember everybody that came to that informal meetup. But it was Johnny's Journey, Van Life Voyages, Gracie and Jock's Adventures, Ron Sees America, Greg, Greg Fit for Expedition, um, Lucy and Brian from Wony Elite Adventures, was Kathy from Surfing Dodo, uh, another Katie. There was uh, some people that we didn't know. There was, who else? I'm trying to think of all the channels you know, but I have already probably forgotten some. Oh, Patty A was with Johnny's Journey, and Annette's Van Tees, and Meg, and somebody else. I, I think her friend was Deborah. There's another Desert Deb was there, and Zeb was there, Mark Wolf, who did I miss? Paul. Uh, Les and Bernadette's brother, he comes every year. Um, I I know I miss a lot of me. Please don't be offended. I just can't remember everybody. But that meetup meet was just about as big as the big meetups we do formally. So we had just relaxed and had fun, did our own thing in the daytime. We had a campfire every night. Jim Bertrand came over a couple times to play for us. Meg played for us on the ukulele we had you know the marshmallows and the rum chata and things like that we had a good time people cooked and contributed and did all kinds of things oh mary and dan i think was there um anyhow so i don't know if i i'm sure i missed a few there was star from weird wyrd adventures um, but Renee Deuce Ryder was there. Oh, gosh. So many people. It was so nice to see everybody. Even the lady, Grace, Gracie Grace, I think, is she called. She doesn't really do videos, but the one that brought me little Maxie came to see us. So I was uh, so glad to see her. And, man, Sharon, another subscriber came. And so many people. Anyhow, that's enough about who all was there. But we would had a good time. I will do another video, short video clip of what I did get. Really, when I do go to meetups, I don't want to walk around with my camera all the time. So I don't hardly ever pull it out. So I did a few pictures and a few, few short clips, but I won't include that in this one. I just want to say I had a very good time. It was so nice to get out again and be around people. And I got stuck in this RV park and for well over a year from with health problems and weather problems and uh, financial problems. So I just didn't want to. I lost my, motiv motiv my motivation. I guess I should say I lost my mojo. <laughs> so... Oh, even Tim, Mobank Bogeo Buck showed up too. Um, so they did a hike to Palm Canyon. I'm sure you'll see that on their videos. I didn't go this time. I'm not.
in that good of shape these days. <laughs> so, anyhow, I had a really good time. I wanted to respond to a few of the people that made comments on my last video. So, oh, uh, okay. So, right now, I moved back into the box van. This is going to be my per permanent home again. And I moved completely out of the fifth wheel. I got it completely packed up. Everything is put into storage or given away or going to do a yard sale with it. I had built up so much stuff in one year. It's crazy. So here I am back in the box, man. I made a few changes. I'll do a little tour of it later on. Um, so, but tonight I really kind of want to respond to the people that I made comments on my last video. Of course, some are. There's always those that have to make a big deal of my smoking. Yes, I know I need to quit. I haven't quit. If you don't really, if it bothers you, you should not come to the channel. If it bothers you that much, you have to make a ne negative comment. Just go away. Thank you. Um, and that's rude, but I'm tired of the negatives. I already know what, what I need to do. I just haven't been able to do it yet. Let's not talk about that anymore. Okay, so I moved back to the end of the box van. I was really, truthfully, after a year in the fifth wheel, I had tons of room, very comfortable, everything, but there was no insulation, and I could not afford to heat it or cool it, and I spent so much money just trying to fix everything, and still, I just can't afford it. I can't afford to maintain a bigger vehicle, so I need to live within my means. I was able to do that in the box truck. People ask, why, do you, why don't you trade it or go down to a smaller trailer or something? Well, because, again, I would have to maintain it, and that's too expensive. I just need to stop and be happy with that I, what I have, which I am. I love my box van. I've lived in here for a lot of years. Everything's fine. Only thing I really got tired of is having no room to put things in. Because everything I own was stuffed inside this little 6 by 10 box. And I didn't have a storage unit at that time. Now I do. So everything I don't need on a regular basis can go over into the storage unit. Then if I need it, I can drive over there and get it. Unless I'm far away, I just have to make sure I take enough stuff. Um... It's not uncomfortable in here. It's very comfortable. I love the box man. So I'm not unhappy at all, people. Please don't feel sorry for me. I hear people saying, oh, I'm so sad. I'm sorry you have to sell it. Well, it's sad, really, in the sense that these people that helped me get this fifth wheel, they were so amazing, and I really hated hurting them. But they said, D, you need to take care of yourself and do what you have to do. We totally understand. So that's where I'm at. I'm very happy. I had a blast with the friends out there and camping. I kind of miss that. Um, you know, I was an old man most of my life. And sitting in one spot is not my thing. I'm so glad I w was able to get out a little bit. Now I can do more camping. It's going to be a lot easier to do that because everything I have is in here already. The work of taking it in and out and in and out and physically up and down those steps and bending and squatting and do all that stuff every time was too much work. So now I don't have to do that every time I want to go out camping or be with my friends. It's already in here. Just have to turn turn the key on and go. So it's going to make my life a lot easier. Yes, there's still going to be maintenance on the box truck, but the cost compared to an RV is much, much less. And I do have friends that come down once a year or every two years or whatever that help me to do the things that I have to do. Physically, I can't do what I used to do, unfortunately. I still do a lot, but there's some things I just, I, I can't, fix my car truck 
I can't repair the engine or anything like that. I can't climb or lift weight because my back is still bad from the broken back. It never healed right. So I have still numbness in this arm. I drop things. I don't have the strength in this arm that I have in the other arm, which is why I don't play the ukulele that much or guitar. Um, but I do have limitations, but it doesn't stop me from doing everything I need to do. And so I live very comfortably, very happy. And I didn't go to the RTR this year. This is the first year I didn't go at all because I've been too busy, too much going on between getting the RV ready and for sale and moving into the box van again and getting out there and camping with friends. Those are, were more prior, priority than going to the RTR because really the RTR is awesome for new, new or beginning nomads or people that need to know how to live on the road. But I think I pretty much got that down. So I really don't need to go and repeat all the same things I've heard every year for all of these past years. I uh, love Bob Wells, but, you know, so I don't think he's going to do a video tour of me this year. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. I haven't heard from him, so I'm not disappointed. It's okay. I don't really have to have notoriety or attention i'm good with the way i am um so anyhow that's a little update of what's going on with me like i said i will be doing a video tour of my box van and i probably will do a video tour of the uh, fifth wheel now that now that it's empty and clean every clean once i get all the curtains up and still have to make four more then I'll do a video tour of that because I have to do that to sell it anyhow. So anyhow, I have a few videos lined up, but I need to get busy and get motivated again. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the update and quit worrying about me. I'm fine. I'm very happy. Thank you. Okay, love you all. Bye-bye.